This is Algebra 2, Chapter 2, Section 8, in which we will be studying how to graph linear inequalities and how to graph absolute value inequalities. Okay. In both cases, we already know how to do it if it's an equation. We know how to graph a line. We know how to graph an absolute value equation. The only difference between, and these are important differences, the only differences between that and what we're going to do today is deciding whether or not you have a solid line, whether it's solid or dotted, and also deciding which side to shade, and we'll see how both of those come into play as we go along here. So we're going to start by graphing x plus 4y is greater than 2. Now if this was an equal sign, x plus 4y equals 2, you would have no doubt how to graph it. There are several different approaches. You could go to slope-intercept form. You could pick a bunch of x's and plug them in. I'm going to use this time the intercepts method. So I'm going to find the two intercepts. I'm going to let x equals 0, pretend this is an equal sign right here, and let x equals 0. Well, if x is 0, then I'm looking at 4y is equal to 2. Divide by 4, we have 2 divided by 4 is a half. So 0, 1 half is where that point goes. If we let y equal 0, then the y term is gone, and we have x equals 2. Come here, you. So we have x equals 2. Now our job here is to make a graph. And we have to pick a dotted line because this isn't or equal to. If it had the or equal to mark on it, we would make it a solid line. But since it doesn't, we make a dotted line. And it goes perfectly through my two points. Now we have to shade. And to shade it, I'm going to pick out a pen up here. I need to find the truth. So I'm going to pick a point that's not on that line. So I'm going to pick x equals 0 and y equals 0. That's my favorite point. And I'm going to test it. 0 plus... 4 times 0, writing with a touchpad is rather tricky, but we'll do the best we can, is greater than 2. Well, 4 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. So we have the statement 0 is greater than 2. Not where I'm from. So this side of the line where 0, 0 was, Remember, this is where we were picking, 0, 0. This side of the line is false. We don't want to shade where it's false. We want to shade where it's true. So we're going to shade this side of the line. And your shading can be just as messy as mine, and it's perfectly fine. And you're not going to offend me if your shading isn't perfectly gorgeous like you'll see in the book will live. Okay. So that's how you graph a linear or a yeah linear inequality. You get your points, you get your line, and then you find the truth. So let's pause here and let you try to one on your own here and then come back and check your results out. So we're graphing negative x plus 2y is greater than 4. Hopefully, when you did your intercepts, 
And if that's the method you chose, you got the points 0, 2, and negative 4, 0. So when you plotted those, you got a dotted line because it was not equal. You tried 0, 0. 0 is greater than 4 is false, so this location is false. That means this side of the line is false, so you shade the true side up here. Okay. One more we need to look at is the absolute value inequality, and like we said to begin with, we already know how to graph absolute value functions. Then it's just a matter of deciding solid or dotted and where to shade. Now, if you remember what we learned on uh, 27 about how to graph, or 26 about how to graph absolute value inequalities or uh, equations, we needed to find where this interior part equals zero. Well, that's negative one. Then we picked values on either side of it. So we went negative 2, negative 3. And then we went 0 and 1. Two smaller and two larger. If we plug in negative 3, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Absolute value of that is 2 times 3 is 6. So we have our first point, negative, negative 3, 6. Okay. If we plug in negative 2, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. The absolute value of that is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. So we'll pick up our point at negative 2 and put it at 3. Okay. At negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, times 3 is 0. At 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, times 3 is 3. Uh, there's my problem. Put that in the wrong spot, but that's okay, we fixed it. First mistake I ever made today. And if we put in x equals 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, times 3 is 6. So we have our graph, or our points, we know we've got a V-shape, we see that. This time we want a solid line. And we want it to be solid because it's equal to. So we'll draw in our solid line through those points. Now our shading is either going to be inside this or outside this. Well again, I'm going to pick my favorite testing point, 0, 0, and try it. So if x is 0 and y is 0, I get 0 is greater than or equal, stop that, 3, times 0 plus 1. Okay. Well, 0 plus 1 is 1. The absolute value of that is 1. Did I tell you to do that? Silly thing. Gotta love technology with touchpads. So we get 0 is greater than or equal to 3, which is false again. 
So this location is false. Well, we don't want to shade false, we want to shade true. So our shading will be the interior. Okay. So we did the same kind of things we've been doing. We've, been, we've already been graphing lines and graphing absolute values. Now we add to it the idea of solid or dotted lines and shading. And remember, you always want to shade the truth. You pick a testing point, see what result you get, whether it's positive or negative, or true or false, I should say. And if it's false, you shade the other side. If it's true, you shade where you're at. Okay. As always, if you had questions, I hope you wrote those down, bring them in with you, and we will see you in class.